If you're editing YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels, or TikToks, there's no reason it can't be as precisely edited as Matheva's latest documentary. And today, I'm going to show you how to get started doing that using DaVinci Resolve. For the sake of this video, let's assume we're shooting on our phones. I got a Pixel 6 Pro here, but really any smartphone will do. And I'm just going to edit this short from our recent studio opening. It's going to be really simple, just a couple of stills, and I'm going to download them all onto my drive. And the first couple of steps are going to be in the Finder before we even move into Resolve. I'm going to create a new folder and call it Studio Opening. Because a key to faster editing is good organization and knowing where to find everything. So I'm going to copy my template structure over here and pull in all the photos. But there could also be videos in here, graphics, whatever else you need in your media. Now I'm going to head over to DaVinci Resolve. And for this one, I'm going to create a new project just for the sake of demonstration purposes. As you can see, normally I do have a project exclusive for vertical content. But for this, let's make a new one. If this is moving a little bit too fast for you, Casey Ferris has amazing videos on everything Resolve. I'm going to link some of his videos in the description below. OK, now so let's look at the project settings, because when you make a new project, it will take your default settings. But we're doing things a little bit differently and we want to make sure everything is displayed correctly. So set the resolution to 1080 by 1920, because this is not a horizontal video, but a vertical one. Choose the frame that you usually film in. For this one, I'll choose 30 frames per second. You'll see why in a minute. And most importantly, set the scaling to scale full frame with crop on both the input and the output because they can be different. I'm not sure why, but the option is there. That automatically scales horizontal images to take up the whole frame instead of leaving huge black bars top and bottom. This is really the key step here to have a timeline format to all your vertical exports. And this is something you can also do in an existing project. Simply create a new timeline, uncheck the use project settings, and type in the resolution and scaling as mentioned above. OK, things are taking shape. So let's go to the next step and bring in all our files. I personally just drag them in, but you can do it via the file menu or the media page. That's totally up to your preference. Next, I'm just going to select all of them and drag them down in the timeline. And to make this the easiest edit in history, let's just make this run sequentially. So let's select them all again, right click, change clip duration. I want this about to be 30 seconds, so I'll make it a second long. Boom, there you go. All in order and trimmed down. One thing to be aware is that you can put in your own numbers, but as you see, you have to write it in time code. So if you want it to be 10 seconds, you have to write 10, 0, 0. That is 10 seconds. So if you just have a montage, this is a really quick way to get things in order. And that is a great way to get started. Now, to make this a little bit more interesting, let's add some music. And for that, I'll go over to my favorite new free music site, Upbeat. They offer high quality music completely for free, and you'll never get a copyright strike against them. They do also have some premium songs and sound effects, so you can upgrade if you want, but the free version gives you 10 downloads a month, and that's what I've been using on my last few videos. So feel free to check them out. Link is in the description below. Now that we have a beat selected, I'm just going to adjust the clips to the music. And for that, I simply look at the peaks and with the trim tool, adjust the cuts so that they are in sync with the music. And now I have a full sequence that I can upload directly to YouTube. Head on over to the Deliver tab. I already have a preset for shorts, but let's make it from scratch. Simply start with the YouTube preset, set the resolution to 1080 by 1920, like the timeline we just edited, Make sure the frame rate is set to 30 frames in this case. And I've been exporting in H.265 for better compression, but H.264 is probably fine as well for shorts. And lastly, you can connect Resolve directly to your YouTube channel via the preferences. Select Internet Accounts, YouTube, and that will guide you through its own process. Select the checkbox, upload directly to YouTube. You can already give this a title and description and choose the visibility and category. Add to render queue, render, and you're all set. Your first short is on YouTube. But of course, you can take this further and edit some video clips, fancy graphics, and a couple speed rooms to become the high beast you always want it to be. For that, I will select some slow mo footage I shot on 60 frames. That's why I set this project to 30 frames per second. And there you go. Two hours later, you got a slick short that puts Peter McKinnon to shame. At least that's what I like to tell myself.
Now, I hope this overview was helpful and brought you a little bit further along on your creator journey. If you want to find out where to take this channel until the end of the year, make sure to subscribe. And if you know someone who just downloaded Resolve, make sure to share this video with them. With that, my name is Valentin, and I'll see you in the future.